Hey YouTube, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to use the mixer. So in the last video I was showing you that it's peaking up here where my mouse is. So I'm going to go in and press play again. You can see the red marks there. We don't want the red marks there, that's called peaking. So what we need to do is we need to click right here into the mixer. And then you're going to need to take all of these sounds, there's only six of them, but all of the sounds that you would have, period, in any song, and add it into the mixer. Alright, so we're going to separate this out. And then what you need to do is you want to click here on the top. Scroll that up. So right now we have pattern one, which is the BD, which is a kick. So you want to make sure that's highlighted, green right there. And then you want to come over to pattern one or any insert, you know, that you want to add it in. But, and then click link selected channels, link to this track. And then as you can see, it's right there. So when I press play, Alright, so we have that in there now. And so now what you want to do is go to pattern 2, click here. Click clap, make sure it's highlighted. Alright, and then we're going to link selected tracks. Alright, and then we're also going to go to 3, make sure the hi hat's clicked, and click right here, link to this track. And we don't have snare, we didn't add snare so I'm just gonna go on and delete it actually but if you would have added snare it would go there every sound period no matter what goes in here alright and so now I'm gonna click my brass click it add it in here and then I'm gonna click my strings click it add it in here and then horn link to select the channels to this track alright so now they're all split up here in the mixer alright so it's going to play a little louder than usual but I'm actually gonna go on and turn this down because now you're focusing everything on each individual track and not all in one like we did up here so if I close that part out and then press play again everything is separated right right over here and then when the hi-hat comes in right here and so how that works now is that you can control the volume levels of every individual channel here you can control any of the volume levels right here so um, in the next video I'm going to show you guys how to add effects into each one of these channels right here. And then in an, also in a following video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a sub mix, which say that you had already added all of your tracks in and you needed to add an effect for all of them. Instead of having to go through and put them all into each individual one, you can create a sub mix to master. So that's another video that I'm going to do today. So stay tuned. Please visit my blog, flstudio123.blogspot.com. And there you will find a bunch of tutorials, remakes, FLP files, um, tutorials. Oh, I think I said that already, but, um, you know, just a bunch of different videos there. And also... Um, if this video was helpful in any way, please subscribe and like this video. Thanks. Bye.